Hello everyone, Zeph Films here. Uh, we have a lot of new stuff coming to September, and I apologize for not keeping up with all the things that have been kind of announced, but we're going to get through them one by one, better late than never, right? Uh, the first thing that I want to talk about is the new kind of like proving grounds that they've introduced uh, that's currently in beta on the Tribble server. Now what they've done is they took the, there's the map Starbase 234, and they've repurposed it for a kind of like a place where you can test your build and it'll actually give you numbers back. You could choose what foes you want to face off against. So I'm going to give this a whirl. Uh, so if you're on Tribble and you want to try this out, come to Drozona. Uh, come to this console that I'm standing in front of. This is where you get all like the special test items. So in here you can go to the store and you can get like, uh, so the latest reputation that came out was Discovery Legends. So you can get the tester pack and all the items that are associated with it. There it is. Uh, so you can get everything from there. But also when you select it, you can do the Space Combat Test Map. So we're going to select that. And Warp to Triple Exclusive Combat Test Map. Yes, take me there. So this is my first time trying this out. Uh, I have not run through this. Um, so it's uh, this will be an experience for all of us. Uh, so welcome to the Starbase 234 Holodeck Simulation Test Map. Uh, use the interface on the map to learn more about it. Uh, and then they have a... Disclaimer, this map is currently in beta. Uh, please leave feedback and report bugs on the forums. So they have that, so let's hit OK. All right, so vet view map information. Uh, here you can test your ship against several enemy factions in many different configurations. Additionally, you can spawn and configure test dummies to have a more controlled test environment. Uh, so, so let's do set active combat scenario. Uh, select from one of the following scenarios listed to get started or change the hostile faction that will be spawned to fight you. So we have basic, intermediate, and difficult. So we have those. Uh, set map difficulty. So normal is active right now and then there's advanced and elite. Uh, view map information. Okay, so set active combat scenario. So we're going to do... Oh, okay. That actually... We're, we're jumping right into this right now. All right. I, uh, I messed up. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, there goes one. Oh, okay. There's a button over here where you can despawn things. So that's good. So if you did what I just did, you can hit the despawn and uh, make all the things go away. <laughs> Oops. I don't think that's the right power. Let's put gravity well on him. I uh, I do like how they've kind of repurposed this for, like for this. All right. So intermediate combat encounter one against the Borg on normal difficulty succeeded in one minute two seconds. So we get timed, which is pretty cool. Uh, average outing, sorry, average outgoing damage per second, thirty one k DPS, and I did almost two mil damage. Uh, you can try this encounter again or adjust the combat perimeters. Oh, nice. So you can actually change things right here. Um, let's do... main. Okay, so let's go back to main options. Uh, map information. Let's go with... Let's do some Romulans. Uh, warp to map start. Okay, let's go to combat settings again. So, did that go to Alachi? 
Oh, no, Romulan's currently selected. Okay, cool. So let's go back to here. Uh, okay, and you know what? Let's go difficult combat encounter one. I think the first one we did intermediate, so let's do this one. Oh my god, all those scimitars. This is not gonna go good, is it? Oh, there's so many more back there. Okay. <laughs> The other group is too far away to uh, grab well in. And I haven't done this in a while, so I am rusty as heck. Alright, there we go. Let's go with this middle guy, grab well. Oh, and we did. <laughs> I guess that ends it. Yeah. So, Robman Star Empire on normal difficulty failed in failed in two minutes one second. Uh, DPS of fifty eight point six k, and did seven point three million damage. So you can try this again or again or adjust the. All right. That's actually pretty cool. Um, I don't run the combat meter anymore. Uh, but it'd be interesting to hear from folks who actually do use uh, the combat meter uh, for DPS runs if the numbers are pretty similar or not. Uh, but yeah, no, I just wanted to go through this uh, this new thing that's on Tribble. Uh, like I said, it's in beta, so um, if you try it out and you find any uh, any little quirks or whatever, just let the developers know. But uh, yeah, it looks like I, I, I like it. I think this is a really good use for Starbase 234. Uh, it was always kind of just like sitting there and not doing anything. Uh, so this is, I, I, I really do like this. Um, you know what? Let's go elite difficulty. Let's go Borg. <laughs> Map info. I feel that the things are a little just kind of all over the place. Let's go basic combat encounter three on elite difficulty. Oh, okay. This should be a cakewalk. Let's see. Things are happening. Things are uh, and I'm dead. <laughs> this is cool. So that was 36 seconds, 126k, 4.5 damage total. So, uh, 
Yeah, I wouldn't... Uh, until we hear otherwise about these, I haven't really heard much myself about how good these numbers are. Um, I don't have a reason to really question them, but it's a really good tool. gives you a good idea of how your ship's performing in that, uh, and good way to test. Like, even, uh, like, what looked interesting is the um, spawn test dummies. Uh, let's do set number of test dummies. Let's do set to five. And... Is that supposed to be like that? Okay. And yeah, you just literally have some drones that kind of just sit there and don't do anything. Which is pretty cool. I, I actually... One thing I would like, if you're trying to like, uh, figure out like, so for example, the gravity well build here. Uh, this is, uh, one that Proteus, if anybody knows him, um, taught me. And it's a, it's a good one to kind of go through just so you get down the motions of like what, uh, what abilities to activate when. So you don't, it, if you use like a um, keybind, you don't want to put everything on the keybind. Like me, for example, I have my tactical team beam overload and all that, or fire at will on there. Um, but there's things on there that you don't want on there, like Gravity Well 3, you don't want it spamming all the time. Um, uh, charged particle burst, you don't want that going off when you're like nowhere near the, uh, the opponents. Uh, so yeah, I would definitely take advantage of using the dummies just to get a feel for like a new build that you're getting yourself into. Um, but yeah, that, that's about it. It looks like these guys aren't meant to be destroyed. <laughs> Let's try. No, no. These guys are not meant to be destroyed at all. Their hull strength is 104 million. <laughs> Holy crap. Alright, so stop parsing. Start, stop parse data. I thought I said stop. Stop parsing data. It's still parsing. Weird. And that would be an example of maybe a, a, a bug. Stop. Yeah, it's not stopping. Weird. Um, there, stop parsing. Stop parsing. No, it's still not... Weird. Well, there's an example of one little bug, <laughs> if that is a bug. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you're new here, subscribe. I'm going to be going through a lot of the other new stuff, like the patrols and all that that's coming out to Star Trek Online, and playthroughs of the missions that are coming out. Uh, I'm I'm uh, eager to see some new content and play through it with y'all, and yeah. Anyway, thank you very much. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.